What's up guys and welcome back to Drug Dealer Simulator. Looks like we got a call from Eddie. Ain't it my favorite salesman? Alright, listen. I thought you might want to expand your operations soon. I'm arranging someone to help you acquire more apartments in the ghetto. My boy will be writing you soon with more details. I'll holler at you later. Alright, I like the sound of that. Like the fucking Roman Empire. Awesome. It's gonna be time to expand, baby. Sounds good to me. I'm gonna run upstairs here and uh, let's let's work on our character a little bit. So the reason why we got that call is because we just hit level seven. So I think it's time that we actually spend some of our character kind of development points here. We've got 30 skill points currently available, and we've got to start uh, we've got to start spinning these things. So pockets are gonna allow us to carry more things without having a backpack. Backpacks slow you down and increase the like attention that police give you because obviously it looks a little sketchy to see a dude running around with a backpack. So those could be pretty useful. Stamina obviously huge. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm I'm gonna do a couple upgrades on stamina. We we I'm I'm gonna do three upgrades on stamina. I feel like our stamina really needs to uh, to to be upgraded there. Runner increases our speed making it so we can outrun police easier. I'm gonna give a couple on that. Stealth is gonna decrease the probability that we'll be spotted or controlled by the police. It affects our stealth at night and lowers the chance the police are gonna to decide to search us during the daytime. We've got Illusionist here. Gives you a slight percentage chance the police won't find drugs in your inventory when it's searched. Salesman increases the price you're able to demand for your product and slightly increases the sales numbers. Decreases the time it takes for the client to make a new order and get a new client to come. I'm gonna say that's honestly pretty important. And then quick learner increases experience points gained for sales and quests. We probably should have got that a long time ago. I'm gonna say let's upgrade stealth. Let's upgrade salesman. Let's do. Uh, let's do. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save the rest. Maybe now nah, we'll do. We'll do quick. Quick learner. There we go. We spent all of our skill points there, starting to kind of develop our character a little bit, and uh, we should be. Uh, we should be in good shape. Now I definitely heard a lot going off here on the laptop. We're gonna have some new. Uh, some new options here. Mike Byers. Hi, Eddie was supposed to let you know I'll be contacting you. I'll make things short. I have some apartments to rent in the ghetto. They are all owned by my various companies, so the police can't directly connect you to them. The prices include all the creativity behind it and my fee, but it ain't cheap. Oh yeah, I'll be acquiring some more of them in time. I'll let you know if new places are available. Got some new places. Check them out when you have the time. All right, sounds good to me. I'm, I'm, I'm down to check it out. Hideout renting. Hideouts are not only storage and lab locations, but they also constantly boost our respect in the neighborhood. You can use them for waiting, refuge. Most of them have save stations and uh, you can uh, you need to rent them using bank account money. So we're gonna have to use the stuff in the ATM like what we deposited yesterday. So uh, it looks like this is our main apartment right here. Let me see, we've got a couple of other options. There's a little garage over here we can get for $300. There's, uh, there's this thing over in the old market. That actually might be useful because we don't, uh, we don't, we don't have anything like that's that's far away. That's a thousand bucks, but that might be worth it. There's something over here, three hundred and eighty, and the the stink. There's something up here in the small docks. I don't think I'm I'm not I'm not gonna do anything yet. I want to kind of feel it out, get some more jobs, you know, meet some new people, kind of keep expanding and, and see where uh, where we think we're at. So let's just let's run run some some work here. Uh, are you yo, are you looking for dealers to hire? Because I got some contacts that help you distribute. Sure thing, dude. Start collecting Looky orders. Here. You've just hired your first dealer. Congrats. <laughs> dealers order the dope just like any other clients, but a lot more progressively. The thing is that they pay up after they distribute, so take that into consideration. Okay. All right. That's going to be interesting, so we're going to have a little you know, group underneath us now. We're starting to build up our, our empire here. Gonna make me a, a, a little, a little, a little worried, but uh, we're, we're gonna be okay. We, we just gotta start distributing. I mean, as the middleman, we're gonna be able to move more work. We're gonna be able to make more money. So we're gonna be all right. Dimitri, what's up, bro? Uh, distribution, I mean, can I, can I trust all these guys? That's the thing is like, I, I wanna make sure they're actually good at what they do. I don't want them to end up getting us caught. All right, so we've got three deliveries to run, plus we're gonna pay off Eddie. I mean, obviously the fact that we're starting to get dealers underneath us means we're gonna have to start getting a lot more product. So we need to pay him off and, and keep 
keeping our tab free, you know what I mean? So here we go, we need that uh, that amp, JK. That was that was the wrong stuff there. We gave him some, uh, some candy, not some amp. All right, now we're gonna go over here. Let's be careful, because we have a lot on us right now. We definitely wouldn't want to be seen. Wouldn't want anybody to be around us. Where is this person? He's gonna be over in the old market, straight up right in the middle. There you are, bro. All right, I see you. What do you want? You want that M, that MJ? Drop that off. Then we're gonna be going over to Jade. She's gonna be kind of across the way here. Now, anytime we're, whoo, we're good. Anytime we're crossing multiple streets and intersections and stuff, that's where it gets a little bit sketchy. So we gotta be very careful. There's so many angles that these guys could be coming from. Where is she at? She's gonna be across the street here. All right, we're good, we're good. There she is, what's up Jade? She wants eight of the X, so we're gonna go ahead and do that. Looks good to me. We've got a couple of, a couple of extra bags on us right now. Can we find anybody new that needs, needs like a little free sample or something? I hate having stuff on us when we aren't immediately going to make a sale because I feel like there's there's no reason for us to, to be moving moving work right now and putting ourselves in that bad position. So we're going to go back. Sounds like we get a couple other orders. Uh, oh, what's up, bro? Hey, what's up, my man? How are you doing? I got a, I got a little present for you. Okay, so this guy needs 15 Gs of ganja. And then Johnny... Doesn't have anything for us yet. I'm pretty sure we've. I'm pretty sure we confront him the 15. We should have enough. Yeah, we've got 40 in here. So let me let me package up 15 right quick. We're gonna do five or three fives. Add that to our inventory, dude. This is pretty sick. I didn't know you could have people people working under you. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and confirm his order. I'm gonna go drop that off eventually. Five of the X I can do. Two of the green stuff I can do. Mike, we're gonna talk to you later. Eddie, I'm gonna need a big order here, bro. We're, we're starting to get a bigger, a bigger kind of like loan. We're up to 460 bucks. So I'm gonna say, let's, let's grab this. We're gonna get 30 of this. That's gonna put us at 150 bucks. I feel like our, our X has been off the charts. So I'm gonna go ahead and do 20 of that. We'll do another 20 of the amp. That's gonna put us at 430. I'm gonna do a little bit more X, maybe like five or uh, 25, 25 X in total. Uh, it's gonna put us a little bit, a little bit too over. 24? 24 is gonna put us right in line. All right, that looks pretty good there. Gonna be able to pick up that dead drop in a minute, but we gotta worry about everything else right now. So we have the, the 15 Gs, we need another 15 of X, we need five of X, and we need two of, of, of the, the mar marijuana. Okay, this is, this is crazy. Oh boys, we have so much work on us right now. This is crazy. All right, so our, our dealers are highlighted in yellow. Obviously, the biggest packages that we have, so we wanna go drop this off immediately. Why would you meet in the basketball court, you freaking idiot? Can you please, can you please meet somewhere else next time? All right, drop that off. Let me see where our next guy is. He's gonna be up here and to the left a little bit. Let's be careful. Gotta be very careful. See over here in the corner by the playground, that's a little bit better better of an area. I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god. Oh my god, dude, we turned that corner and they were right there. We're good, we're good, we're good. Raffle, where you at, brother? Uh, Raffle is still a ways down there. See, like, this, this is where it would help if we had another apartment over here. We could travel to that apartment, we'd have product in that apartment, and then we don't have to travel by foot with a bunch of stuff on us. What's up, Raffle? Let me go ahead and, uh, and drop this off. You're good to go, buddy. All right, so we just fronted 30 Gs of product to our two dealers. Hopefully they're not gonna get caught with anything. Hopefully they're not gonna get in trouble. I would imagine we're gonna make a decent amount of money. They're gonna do all the legwork for us, bro. You know what I mean? Like, we had to front the money, but we're not gonna have to do anything and we're just gonna get paid back and enjoy our riches. So uh, that's what I'm talking about. Your boy is, is an entrepreneur, man. We're, we're moving on up. So we're still waiting on the, the new order that we made through Eddie, but it looks like Dimitri, one of our dealers, it may have already moved through all of his work. Yo, sold the dope, wanna meet and take the cash? Yes, sir, let's, uh, let's collect. We are gonna go uh, go take that on, dude. I'm excited. I mean, we literally didn't have to do anything here. I mean, we had to get the original amount at the start, but now we're gonna be able to just go and collect, go do our thing. Didn't have to have any any you know risk involved or anything. We just kind of sat back and and collected checks, baby. 
This is him right here. Police hours start in 60 minutes, so we gotta hurry up. Got the cash, 150 bucks. As it turns out, I think Johnny's got our money for us as well. Looks like he's chilling back here on the very back street. What's up, my man? I feel like Johnny isn't really as good at what he does, but hey, he got us the same 150. Meets in a little bit sketchier spots, but uh, I mean, if you're if you're getting the job done, you're getting it done. So next up, we've got a dead drop available. Finally got delivered, and this is gonna be by far the biggest drop that we've had. Where's this gonna be? Is it back here? It's not in there. Where is this? It says we're pretty much looking right at it. Can we go in there? No. Where's this? Where's this drop at? Aha! Got a, a window in this old abandoned building. All right, this is by far our biggest haul yet. We've got to be very careful here. Police hours start in 20 minutes. That's where they're gonna gonna pull everyone off the street that they see. As long as we're not being sketchy here, we might be okay. But I really don't even want to risk it, dude. We we would we would be put away for a long time if we got caught right now. But it looks like we made it back. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We got some new work. We were running a little low on product. We've been moving more than we can. Uh, get but uh, here we go. All right, let's go ahead and place this stuff down dude. Oh my goodness Let's go. That's what I'm talking about now We're gonna be able to move all these in our containers make sure we stay nice and organized I'm thinking of probably just gonna pay this off right now so we can uh, we can can make our next order right away How much are we gonna owe? $458 so let's go to our stash over here. We're gonna move over 458 or so 473 that looks good to me. So we got to get out here. We're gonna go deliver We're gonna go drop off cash to Eddie and we're gonna do our thing. Oh, man. This is this is a little Shoot, This is a little sketchy The cops the cops are gonna be out and about dude. This is this is Possibly a little too aggro But your boy loves to live life on the edge. All right, Charlie's gonna be back here. What's up, Charles? How you doing, bro? I got it. All right, this is this is your your ex that you wanted. Appreciate the business, bro. All right, now we got to get to Eddie. The thing is, is running running money to Eddie during times like this really isn't worth it. When we're doing deals at night and we're running product to people, it makes sense because there's obviously higher risk, but you get higher reward. You get more XP. You get more more respect and stuff like that. I don't I don't think we get anything extra from Eddie here. So let's go ahead and drop this money off. Looks good. At least we don't we don't really have much money on us. We don't have any product on us. So even if we get caught, it's not going to be a horrible thing. But obviously we we don't want to be caught. So I'm going to move slowly. Definitely some cops over on the right side over there, not too far away. Our house is right over here. We're going to get back inside and we're good to go. Woo! Dude, nighttime is is no joke. X is a hot commodity. This is crazy. So I'm I'm gonna make another order through Eddie here. I'm gonna say, I mean, this this is by far our most popular thing. Let's get 40 of it. And then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get quite a bit of, of the MJ, maybe 20 of that. What about 40? 480, and then I think I think I'm gonna get the rest in, in amp. Amp just to, I don't, it's not that popular and honestly, it, I, I feel like that's a good thing. All right, so we're gonna make this order there We've already got two new orders of X. We've got uh, we've got 10 G's of X on us right now I'm gonna go ahead and save just in case and so uh, we got to get out there, dude we've, we've got a couple deliveries to make here at nighttime So it looks like Jade is is close behind us. Camillo is gonna be over in the old market Let's be careful here I definitely hear cops over to our right, right there. Dude, it is so much sketchier at night. Where is this dude at? Camillo is gonna be back in the back, I think. Woo! I don't like all the, the bad music and everything. Camillo's back here. Make sure I don't see anybody. What's up, bro? All right, what do you, what do you need? What do you need? He wants the two. He just wants the two. Boom, there it is. So you're you're the small the small chump, bro. The other the other chick, Jade, she's one of our best customers. She wants eight grams. So we're gonna try to get that to her quickly and efficiently without being caught. I don't like it when the, the motion detection lights come on and stuff. We got cops over there. We got cops. We got cops. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. We're good, we're good. 
Jade, where you at? Jade's back here. I mean, really, as long as we drop off the work, we're gonna be okay. I think being caught during police hours is bad, and they might, they might confiscate some of your cash and stuff, but it's not the end of the world. Cops there. Random intoxicated individual. That ain't me, bro. I'm out. Be careful. Be careful. We're good. Oh, we made it back, dude. I don't I don't like delivering stuff at night. At night, if they see you at all, they're coming to get you. There is no no leeway there. You are 100% screwed if they see you. But uh, that was another successful delivery. And I think we're just going to keep uh, keep kind of kind of doing this thing. Nine G's of weed, dude. I feel like our 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 orders are getting kind of out of control at this point. I mean, it's 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 kind of cool to be honest. Like I, I respect it. It's nice that we're getting bigger orders. We're making money more quickly, but it also kind of makes me a little bit nervous because I feel like there's more more risk for sure. Uh, Eddie, two hours and twenty five minutes to our next drop. Looks like uh, eighteen of MJ to Dimitri. Hooey! Our boys are are working, bro. This is what I like to see. So our first, our first deal should be right around this corner. I appreciate you coming to be, bro. That that is that is clutch. All right. So he's gonna want uh, he's gonna want three of these three packs. We want to move one one back there. So he's gonna have three of the three packs. He's good to go. And then our dealer is gonna be across the street. But this is where it might get sketchy. Gotta be very careful. We're good. Hey, you wait. Suspect on the run. They saw me run in my apartment, right? Bro, that was the worst timing ever. You guys think we're gonna go downstairs? Oh my goodness. All right, so he's gonna be across the street to the right. We just gotta get to him. We're a fugitive and it's nighttime. Where's he at? He's gonna be around the corner to the left. Right in here. Not too far away. All right, Dimitri, you, it's, it, the block is hot, bro. The block is hot, you gotta be careful, okay? Take that stuff, get out of here, don't get caught. I want that 180 bucks back as soon as you sell it. Oh my goodness, dude. I, 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 I'm actually going to, to have a heart attack in this game. That, that absolutely scared the bejesus out of me. 